hi everyone hope you are doing good welcome to the next video on my youtube channel my name is Saurabh Bharti Microsoft Dynamics 365 professional so without further delay let's start the today's uh, topic so today we are going to explore uh, a new feature uh, which has been introduced from the AI perspective in Microsoft Dynamics 365 finance and operations which is about having the AI generated summary on different Microsoft pages which we have across different modules. So we are going to talk about that. So let's move to the next slide. So if you talk about what is AI summary in NT65 FNO, so AI summaries with Microsoft Copilot are available on many of the most used pages in FNO and the what are those spaces i'm going to talk about that and these summaries uh, provides a quick overview of the inform most important information that's related to the page personalized for that particular user who is looking into that particular specific page summaries can include information such as the number of lines in the purchase order or the sales order the number of items in a warehouse or the number of overdue invoices for the vendor or the customer and the information that Copilot provides depends on the current page and the user context. So it really depends on that what roles, responsibility and the securities you are having there. So for example, the information can vary based on the other pages that user works with most and it is limited based on the user securities, roles and the permissions. Now, if you want to get this AI summary feature, uh, then what are the prerequisites? Let's talk about that. So you should be, uh, I think if you have any build version of 10.0.4, uh, it should be fine. You should be able to see these features uh, on by default. But uh, if you are on 40, then you need to have a PQ one or later. And if you are on 35, uh, 39, then you should have PQ three or later for that. Apart from that, as we know uh, that if you want the the, the copilot and AI uh, features to work in D3.5NO, we need to have the Power Platform integration. We need to enable the features and the feature management. And one of the summary feature which we have is on the warehouse management mobile app side. So for that, if you want, if you are using a mobile, if you are using a warehouse app, so the warehouse app version should be 2.3.2.0 or the later one. So these are the prerequisites which you need to have uh, if you want to use these uh, features. Now let's understand that what are the different features which are available uh, as part of this summary. So if you talk about the features which are available as part of this summary, uh, these features are your across different modules which you have it in D365 Finance and Operations. So you have the product, uh, under that you have the product details summary page where you go to the product master, uh, product summaries when hovering on the item, uh, when you take your cursor on the item where let's say sales order line or purchase order line, it is going to give you the summary about that product. Then you have something related to AR where the customer pays and the sales order. Then in AP you have vendor and the purchase order, the workflow, the HR has employee self-service and there are a couple of which are in under the retail and the commerce on the posted statement and calculated or the unposted uh, statements which you are having in the D365 finance and operations. Now we will go to the system and let's understand that uh, how it looks uh, on the form when we log into these different summary pages. But one of the most important thing which we need to keep in mind is the information which is provided uh, on these different summary pages has a different logic to it. For example, if you are looking for the purchase order summary page, it has a, a, a two different category or a couple of different categories of the information which uh, is being provided to you. Like it is provided to you like uh, uh, how many lines are there and then also talking about that what are the different status of those lines and on the order. Similarly, when we talk about the supplier master, it talks about the how many invoices being posted and uh, the what's overdue balance and the open invoices which you are having in the system. So 
uh, there might be an expectation when we uh, look at these summary pages that uh, can this provide this particular insight or uh, related to let's say some XYZ parameter. But we need to understand the, the key parameters which has been used as of now as uh, while providing this summary. We I'm sure that in future Microsoft is going to add more uh, uh, parameters or the different dimensions to provide those insight. But when we are talking to the customer, we need to be very clear about these things that what information it is going to provide as part of the summary. So let's move to the dynamics and then see that what how it looks, what information we are having there. So now uh, if you look at uh, my screen, I am on the feature management workspace. And if you look at this feature management workspace, I'm having all these different summary uh, features, which we just now spoken about, uh, which is product, uh, product summary when offering customer pay summary, employee sales survey, purchase order, sales order, vendor, workflow. So all these and then, and then you have related to the retail, you have the uh, posted statement or calculated or unposted uh, statement related things, right? So all these uh, features are available uh, here. Uh, generally, when you are on this right version, these are auto enabled for you. And uh, if you want to have more detail about this, you can just click on this learn more. And then it is going to take you some uh, the the learn content which is available in D65 uh, for the on the Microsoft site here. Now, if you look at this learn page, it talks about the different capabilities around these features. And as I was talking about, like if you talk about the purchase order, then it has like what insights it is providing that around the number of lines which you have, and the status which you have, and then. Uh, what is the logic behind those uh, different status? And when you talk about the insights, like there is a different category of the information it is providing, which is the insight for the purchase order. So then it is providing overdue, near overdue, uh, uh, without confirmed receipt, uh, how many are uh, like uh, without uh, confirmed receipt dates are there. So all this and similarly you have for the sales order. So it is very important for us all AI summary and everything looks good, let's say on the screen, but it is very important for us to understand uh, what is the logic behind it, what data sets and the different tables this particular AI summary is using as of now when we have this feature enabled for us. So now let's go to the dynamics and then let's start exploring each of these things. So maybe let's start with the uh, supplier master. So if I go to all vendors here and we will look into the all the different summaries which are available. So <clears throat> I can open, let's say, one of the uh, vendor account from here and look at this, that how it is. So if you look at this first tab, this has been added for you. Now, again, this tab depends on the right uh, user uh, security which you are having in the system. So if you are having uh, right roles and responsibilities defined, this particular tab will be available for you. Now, if I look at this, uh, uh, the tab, it has two different uh, uh, sections of the summary which has been generated. One is around the status of this particular uh, supplier and then the insight it is there and this is what i was talking about that what information the system or the ai or the copilot is using to generate this status and then what information the, so the copilot is using for uh, generating this uh, insights and both are having different uh, uh, tables used and the information used to provide you this information here now if you look at this status it is talking about it that in the last one year, there have been a total six posted invoice with the combined amount of this. All the post posted vendor invoice have an outstanding balance of the same amount. No vendor payment has been made here. Additionally, three are three. There are three. Uh, there are five open purchase orders. One received. So it is giving you the all the status of the different transactions which you are having. So which means it is considering your all the supplier transactions and the related purchase order uh, purchase transactions which you are having. Uh, then you have the insight that in last one year there are six overdue invoices. So it is talking purely about that what financial information you are having around the invoices, the invoices with the highest number overdue, 
uh, how many days it is overdue uh, and all those uh, information it is uh, telling you here. So that's on the uh, window master. And similarly, if we go to uh, the custom master quickly, uh, this is going to provide us the similar information what it is giving us on the, uh, the, the vendor master here. So if I open this, so if you look at this, similarly the status of this customer and then the insight of this particular customer it is providing. Now let's go to the uh, one more master data. So these are two master data, but uh, we can go to uh, uh, product information and uh, product information, uh, which is uh, release products, let's say. So if I click on this, here also I'm having the similar summary page for this particular product, which is being provided, uh, by, uh, which is being generated by the, the, the co-pilot. So here, if you look at this, this has a three different category of the information where we had two different categories on the per, uh, supplier and the customer master. So it is talking about the product information, how many units are available for this particular product in the warehouse. And then it is talking about the purchase information of this product and then the sales information of this. Now let's go to the purchase orders and then look at this at how this information is, is reflecting for us and we can pick up one of the purchase order here and if you see again here we have the two different informations which are generated by the copilot which is the status and then the insight a status talks about that how many number of lines which we have what's the status of those things and then the insight is about that what's the uh, if you if you want to take any action on that on, on that like whether it, it's about uh, confirming the receipt date or product posting the product receipt and other things now if you observe that there was a one there were two summary features for the product master one was on the release product but uh, another was the hovering if you take the cursor to your item in any of the form where the item is used and you see that on that particular thing it also generates the the copilot generate the insight or the summary from for that particular product there so it is talking about that a standard cabinet is a product under the cabinet category it has a purchase price of this the cost was updated last time this the default unit price is not based on this and the cost price is updated based on the latest product receipt price so it is providing you the quick information of this particular product on this purchase order line where you have this now similarly what we can do is we can go to the all sales orders and look at uh, one of the sales order which we have it here so let's say if i open any of the sales order here it's taking time so yeah, uh, so it is also going to generate two different sections like a status and the inside. So it is saying the order is invoiced completely. Uh, there is no inside which is available here. Now again here at the line level, if I go and see that it is going to provide me the summary generated by uh, the copilot for that product. And, and, and here it is uh, talking about the price which is related to the sales and the cost related. Now this was the invoiced one, but let's look at any purchase order, which is let's say in a delivery status or sales order, sorry, not the purchase order. So let's look at this, that how it is going to look like for us here. So here, if you see it is saying this thing and inside there is no insight here available. So again, it's a very initial stage for this and it is going to possibly getting more mature based on the information which we have in the system and more and more we use this thing. So this is about your, the product, customer window, purchase order and the sales order which you have it, but you also have under the self-service portal. So if I go to human resource and employ self-service uh, portal, this is going to provide me the co-pilot summary for, 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 for the employee. So <clears throat> as an employee, if we are using the employee self-service portal in Dynamics 365, and this is my page where I can look at my personal information and the things which I have for the organization. It is going to generate the co-pilot summary 
So it is talking about that you currently have 87 hours of PTO with uh, no pending balance and all these things. And it is also giving you some, uh, and there is no expected uh, leave to lose or sick leave and any unused leave expires on this. So it is also giving you some actions on here that you can request a time off to utilize the the balance, the leave balance which you have it. So this is around the, the this is around this uh, particular thing which we have it uh, in the human resource. <clears throat> Now the next thing which we can talk about is the workflow related. So if I go to the common module and if I look at the workflow history here, so there are different status here. So let's say if I talk about the pending workflows which I have in the system which are let's say due for this. So it provides me the workflow indicates that the task has been submitted by this user on this, the status of it. And I think this is going, this information is really going to help uh, any user when they are uh, going and looking at that where my workflow is. Then the copilot is just summarizing all the information uh, about where it is pending, who has submitted this for the approval. Now this particular information, the tab is also available on different forms where you can look at the workflow history. So on the purchase order or the on the invoice form, if you go to the view workflow history for individual transactions, you will be able to see the similar information there as well. So that's what that's about the workflow. Now the, I think the last bit which is left is the retail and the commerce where we have the different uh, options around this. So if I look at one of the workspace which is like store financial so it is talking about the store finance like the status and the risk again here so there is no calculated or unposted statement and that's the reason it is talking about this but if you had the posted unposted and all these statements the information is going to be reflected here and copilot is going to generate a, a summary for that as well here so that's it about the different capabilities related to the AI summary, which are available in the in, in D365 here. So if, if, if you just summarize this, so these are the different features. There are product related, the customer sales order, vendor purchase order, workflow, employee in HR, and then the retail and the commerce, which we are having here. The key thing here is what it is going to solve for us so and how it is going to help customers. So in my opinion, it is going to have a better user experience, provide the quick insights and also help the users to make some decision based on the insight which Copilot is providing. So there are two parts of the Copilot AI summary, which I understand as of now. One is the status or kind of information which is which it is providing which will help user to understand the exact status of those transactions or of that particular, let's say the attribute in the system like vendor, customer, sales order, purchase order. The second set of information which it is providing is the insight. And I think the objective of that is to, is to, to take some action on top of it based on the summary which has been generated by Copilot. For example, if it is saying that these five invoices are overdue for so many days, that means now you can take some actions. Uh, if it is says that there are so many sales orders or the purchase order without the confirmed receipt or the SIP date, that means you need to uh, take an action, uh, action on top of it. So that's, that's what is broadly providing us and that's what is the application as of now for us. And when we go to the customer and talk about these features, uh, these are the things which we can highlight to them. That's it for this video. Uh, hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one. Thank you.